chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody, your home for gains and brains. We're going to talk today about three habits that many, many, many guys are currently doing. I've done them myself too, guys. I'm guilty as well. I'm not immune here. But three habits guys do that are destroying your chances with your crush or with the girls in your life that you like. Now, as usual, guys, I have to make my typical disclaimer when I make this type of video because guys are inevitably going to comment, um, is this not a fitness channel? I thought we were here to discuss fitness. I don't know how many times you guys can watch videos about uh, hypertrophy. I'd like to expand my horizons more than simply just lifting things up and putting them down, all right? But with that said, let's get into the first habit you're doing that is crushing your chances with your crush. Rubber necking. So I know a lot of you guys are in high school or college. Here's a very common scenario, right? You're sitting in class, you're kind of just dazing off like you normally are, the boring teacher is about to start talking, but then she walks in. Your little crush, your little boo thing, right? She walks in, she sits down, especially if it's sort of close to you, and you can kind of see her within your proximity, and you start doing this, right? <laughs> You start like checking on her as if you're like her caretaker or something. You know what I mean? That's extremely common. And of course, you know, you can look at people whenever they enter the room. Guys are going to act like, oh, so I'm not allowed to look at people. You know, the guys who take everything to the extreme, right? But after that first or second look, guys, if you continually throughout the entire period of the class, throughout your entire time at the gym, if you're constantly like looking over with that rubber neck, I'm telling you, man, she's noticing that you're doing it and she does not appreciate that you're doing it. So whenever you look at a girl over and over, the subtle communication there is that you would like to talk to her. If you just got into a class, if you just joined a gym and you just saw her, you don't have to just run up to her immediately as soon as you enter the place, okay? But I will say talking to her relatively quickly is probably a good habit to get into because I've been there myself too. Like I said, this can snowball out for weeks, months, I mean, potentially even years, depending on the circumstance. It's not uncommon, guys, and I know a lot of you can resonate with this too. There will be a girl in your class, say it's the start of the semester, say it's August. You're looking at her. August goes by. I'm going to get her next month. You know, I got a lot of work to do. September, eh, you know, it's not whatever. I've been partying, seeing other people. All these months go by. Eventually, you snap your fingers. It's the end of the semester. You still haven't talked to her. Then the final day comes up and you're like, oh my god, I gotta study for my final. And then she finishes her final, walks out of your life forever. You look and you look away and then she sees you, you look away. If you guys make quick eye contact especially and your head darts to the other direction, abort mission, dude, you're toast. Okay, at that point you might as well just wave a white flag in front of her. Focus on what you gotta focus on. If you see a girl you think is cute and the opportunity presents itself or if you can kind of make the opportunity, go in for it but do not be the guy who is constantly looking around at girls, staring, looking away. Oh, I'm gonna approach her next week, next week, next week. No, you're not. And the more and more you tell yourself that, the more awkward it gets, and the more your chances with her plummet by the day. Whether you end up talking to that girl or not, what is the first thing women notice about you? It's your face, your grill. One of the best compliments I've gotten from women over the past number of years is whenever they tell me that you have such nice skin. Because it's really something you don't hear a lot. Many guys probably never hear that. And I have a way to help you get better skin, especially if you don't take skincare seriously right now. That's why I'm proud to tell you that today's video is sponsored by Tiege Hanley. Tiege Hanley is a leader at affordable skincare for men. If you ask me, it is the best system for guys like you and me who don't want to put tons of time into the skincare process, but still want to see tangible results. So I personally recommend you start with the Tiege Level 1 system, which comes with all the basics you need. We have a daily face wash to get rid of dirt and grime, on your skin. There is an exfoliating scrub you apply two times per week to get rid of dead skin cells that build up over the course of days. An AM moisturizer with SPF 20 added into it because you always should be protecting your skin from the sun. And finally we have a PM nighttime moisturizer to help your skin stay hydrated and healthy throughout the night. And this is especially big if you sleep with something like a heater on 
maybe an air conditioner or a fan very close to your face, those things that tend to dry your skin out without you even realizing it. One of my favorite things about Tiege Hanley is that every box comes with an instruction card that tells you exactly when to use each product, how much to use, and in what order. So I've been using them for a number of weeks now, guys, and I can attest to this. Their products do work. My skin feels great. It definitely looks better. And if you give their products a try and like them, you can become a member of Tiege Hanley a monthly subscription, which is going to give you a number of benefits. You're going to get 20% off plus of the normal retail price, the ability to customize the boxes they send you, exclusive monthly deals, free United States shipping, and low-cost shipping to other areas of the world as well, and you can cancel or pause this membership at any time. And because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, guys, they are offering you, members of the chest hair gang, a fantastic deal. So click the first link in the description box down below, guys. You're going to get 30% off of your first box, and they're also going to send you a free gift as well. So this is a great deal, guys. Once again, it is summertime. Gonna be a lot of girls, a lot of pool parties, a lot of barbecues and stuff. Make sure to get your skincare right, get your routine in order, and reap the benefits with the ladies. So on that note, moving on to the second habit that is crushing your chances with your crush. Social media simping. You look at any girl's Instagram profile, every single time you can go to the comment section, guaranteed there's gonna be at least one, if not maybe even dozens of guys, if the girl has a more popular profile, with these, right? The heart eye emoji, if they're getting really down bad, maybe the eggplant emoji, the water spritz emoji, the sticking the tongue out emoji, or maybe guys will be saying stuff like, oh my goodness, princess, you're so gorgeous. You're so perfect. I want to ride in on my chariot and sweep you away. Stop. Stop saying all of these things immediately. Do not sit on Instagram all day, guys and just keep hearting these pictures, leaving comments, swiping up on the stories. You know how it is, man. The algorithm's very intelligent. If you do this over and over, it's going to find an endless batch of girls every single day that it knows you're going to do the same things for, right? It can tell based on your preferences and your history and all this other stuff, basically your type. Now, there's always a debate as to whether you should be DMing girls on Instagram, if there's any validity to that. I've been on a couple dates, I think literally only a couple, like two in my entire life, guys, from DMing girls on Instagram. I would say it's relatively rare to do unless you have like a legitimate blue check on your profile or just an extremely lavish lifestyle that you can promote on there, right? But for the most part, guys, especially with these girls with tons of followers, with verified accounts, they're models, they're sponsored, they're in these big cities. If you DM these type of girls, guys, and think you have a chance with them, uh, you don't. So before you DM all these girls with your romantic poems and stuff, just realize 99% are not even going to see it. Before you leave all these hard eye comments and stuff, just realize you're just another leaf in the pile, okay? A bunch of other guys are doing that. That does not make you stand out. You're not special for doing so. You get what I'm saying, guys. These dudes who think that they're shooting their shot via social media way more often than not are just simping. They're just giving the girl free attention, adding to her profile, inviting more guys to do the same thing as her profile grows within the algorithms, right? So if you're a social media simp right now, guys, there's nothing to be gained. Work on your own self, build your own profile, your own skill set, all the other stuff we talk about on this channel. That's what's going to help you get girls. And some girls may even DM you if they find you attractive, if you have a cool lifestyle and cool goals. But if you're just one of these rando dudes with a bathroom selfie commenting on these girls' pictures and videos all day, not good. And finally, the third habit that is destroying your chances with the girl you like having too much free time, all right? So if you have too much free time, what are you more inherently likely to do? What we just talked about, rubberneck. You're out in public just looking around at chicks. You have nowhere to go. You can just kind of sit at the mall all day, nothing else to do, right? You're not in a rush. You have nothing on your schedule. There's no agenda. You just kind of are aimlessly waltzing through life, okay? Maybe you go to the gym even. I know a lot of you guys might go to the gym and that's pretty much all you do all day right? You go to the gym and you can sit there for three, four, five hours playing hopscotch on the machines, doing your excessive volume, all this stuff. 
I've said it before, guys. I think I said this in my recent video about getting stronger. If you're in the gym for numerous days a week for three plus hours, you need to get a job. And I'm not being sarcastic or hyperbolic. I'm being completely serious. Some of you guys, man, have so much free time on your hands, and especially as men, what are we inherently going to direct that excess energy into? It's gonna be into women. And especially if you're not very experienced with women, and a lot of you aren't going to be because you're simply younger, you're going to divert that energy into being a simp, right? The rubbernecking, the social media simping, staring at women. Maybe you want to be Mr. Romantic. You're going to buy a girl flowers and hold the door open for all these girls. Maybe you're going to go do cold approach for five hours every weekend. All this stuff, guys, you can put your time to far better use. And once again, you can do whatever you want with your life. If you're very wealthy and have nothing else to do, I guess go for it. But for most of us, what are you doing in that time? You're gonna run up to a bunch of women, you're gonna get a bunch of fake phone numbers, a ton of rejections. I mean, you might get what? Five to 10 phone numbers, half of which are probably fake, half of which she's not gonna answer. You might be lucky to get one of those five to 10 that actually answers you. And that's not even a guarantee you're gonna meet up in the future. You see what I mean? So all this time and effort that guys put into chasing women, also with online dating too, and social media, Instagram, DMs and stuff, it's the same thing. The return on investment rate is remarkably low. I mean, it's minuscule percentages, the return on investment you're going to get pursuing women if that's something you do as like a main habit in your life. So what should you be doing instead? Go to the gym, work on your schoolwork and your studies, get good grades. Like I've said before to have a good major, okay? STEM, something that tangibly pays you well, right? Work on your artistic pursuits, your passions. Maybe it's like music, start a side hustle, start a business, look into investing, look into the economy. There's a lot of financial opportunities out there, guys, and in general, a lot of opportunities to put your time, mental and physical too, just putting your entire essence, so to speak, into something that's more tangibly effective and is going to help you grow as a man. There's so much stuff you can do that is way more productive than just, hey, there's a girl, I'm gonna go talk to her, I'm gonna DM this girl, I'm gonna look at all these girls, right? Focusing on women so much, guys, is really of minimal benefit. Once again, I know given testosterone and everything, it's hard not to focus on women. You're not going to just magically wipe that away. But you have to be able to channel that energy and all of that kind of, you know, ooh, I got to get the girls. There's a time and a place, okay? I'm not one of these guys who says never approach, never talk to women, okay? You know, the wannabe monk mode guys who never get women, that type of thing. But there is a time and a place for it. You need to kind of have that as one sliver of your portfolio in your day-to-day -day life. You still need to be making money. If you're in school, focus on your schoolwork and your grades. Get in the gym. Focus on your nutrition. Read books. Get more knowledgeable. I mean, there's so many things to learn, guys. And a lot of you dudes now who are 18, 20 years old, you're still in college. You have no responsibilities, man. I can tell you now as a guy in my mid-20s, there's so much to learn about, man. Uh, investing, taxes, real estate, maybe look into even growing your own food if you have a plot of land and you can do so, right? Just become self-sufficient in general, okay? But anything is going to be more productive down the line than just chasing girls online and in person. And as I said too, guys, this video is sponsored by Tish Hanley. Don't be doing this with acne on your face. Don't be doing this with bad skin. So be sure to check the first link in the description. Once again, 30% off of your first box and a free gift with them. So big shout out to them for helping me with this video. But with that said, this has been the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Big shout out to the Patreon supporters and the channel members. As always, hit me up via email for custom programs, coaching inquiries, and consultations. And I will catch you guys next time.